Hi guys, welcome to my latest video where I'll be reviewing Morphe Richards 60 litre sensor bin with infrared technology just for you. Okay, so let's get the introductions out of the way. I'm Loretta from Home and Horizon. It's a lifestyle blog which focuses on affordable travel and affordable interiors. So obviously I have my own YouTube channel where I love doing reviews about anything really, gadgets, homeware. Just really like getting value for money and I like to inform people. So I'm hoping this video will be useful for you. So why do I need a new bin? The old bin, well the pedal action had gone so it just bang all the time. Not only that, it had two separate compartments, one for the main rubbish, one for recycling, which we never used. And last but not least, it kept getting really filthy, even though I cleaned it like all the time. Now I've got friends who've got sensor bins and I've always avoided them because lots of friends have said it really is annoying when they walk past and the lid pops up and you know, the batteries run out all the time. So I wasn't particularly, what's the word? warming, warming to a sensor bin. But this bin was originally, according to Groupon, £229.99 for a bin. But Groupon was selling it for £83.99. So I thought, Pracky, that's a really good saving. So it must be a pretty good bin. Maybe I should just buy it. Anyway, so just to explain, I did go ahead and buy it. This is not an ad. I haven't got paid by Morphe Richards to bang on about their bin. Who knows, I might find it's crap. But what I did do was buy it for £83.99 from Groupon, but I went through Top Cashback. So Top Cashback is a way of buying goods online and getting a fraction of the money back. So it's a win-win. Anything you buy online, try going through a cashback site to get more money back. So I'm gonna put everything in the description box below. Just click see more to read everything, like where I bought it, how much I bought it from, how I went through Top Cashback, etc. So you are better informed. And while we're on the subject of being informed, then please feel free to subscribe. I love doing these reviews. I love helping people. I give honest reviews, no BS in my videos. And yeah, if you wanna be notified, then just click the bell notification and then it will tell you when I've launched a new video. Okay, I think it's time to crack on. I'm gonna speed up the next clip because I'm just gonna be opening the packaging so you can see what it looks like when it comes out. <laughs> rectangular sensor bin I went for one in ivory and rose gold just to be a little bit different I know that dirty marks might show up in this a bit more but I've always had like the stainless steel bins so I thought just go for something a little bit different automatic soft close lid easy access battery compartment we'll see how easy it is bin liner retaining clip which is always useful if it works. Also looks like it's got a five year guarantee. Up to five years upon registration with Morphe Richards, UK and Republic of Ireland only. So you've got to register with Morphe Richards because they'll get you on that. High quality stainless steel construction with rose gold deco. Stylish ivory color coated steel body. Lid opens when your hand approaches the top of the bin. Now, if that's true, then that will be much better than from the side or from the front because you've got to put your hand over it for the lid to open. Digital screen with five seconds lid close countdown. I didn't know that. Efficient manual open close override buttons. Very useful. Easy access battery compartment, as we said. It requires six AA batteries, which are not supplied. It has a height of 95.5 centimeters when the lid opens. You know what, just thinking about it, it might be worth getting the rechargeable batteries because if it takes six and if this does go through the batteries, then at least you're not you know, spending loads of money. So you might recoup some of that loss by buying rechargeable ones. Oh. It's like a bit of an empty bin at the moment. I can't see its lid, but that might be underneath. Put the lid in 
inside. I'm going to lift this off because I need to get the paper off. The colour's nice and yeah, it will go with my kitchen cabinet, so I'm happy about that. I'm just looking now for any marks or dents. Nope, looking good. So far so good. It's got a couple of leaflets in the bottom. So this one talks about the uh, care and use in guarantee registration. Operating instructions, which I'm going to read. Registering your five year guarantee. Oh, and you can win a Apple sports watch worth over 300 pounds when you leave a review on our website. I think I might do that. Okay, so I've read the instructions quite thoroughly. It looks like all the technology is in the lid of the bin. So this really is where the money's at. This is just an empty vessel. So let's get the lid open and have a look. Notice they pad it out to keep it protected. Well done, Morphe Richards. And here it is. Just looking on the underside, it looks like without breaking it this is just flipped open that's probably because i pressed something there's an on off switch here that's good because if it does start to annoy you then at least you can switch it off manually open and close on the top of the the lid underneath where the batteries go in the lid so it's off at the moment I'm going to switch it on and apparently a red light should come on somewhere and give me a countdown. So it must be on this display here. Let's take this off. So if I switch it on and close the lid, it's on, like the zero is flashing. Oh yes, I just pressed it and it opened. Test out this infrared technology. Really should put a bin liner in first. Which, you know, as I'm going to leave it, my bin liners don't actually fit the bin. They're too short. God damn it. Okay, I'm going to carry on. Ever the pro, I'm going to carry on. And obviously this afternoon or tomorrow, I'll go out and get some bin liners that will fit my bin but for now I'm just going to test out the technology I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to hang over like this but once I get my new bin liners then I will show you what it looks like there's two ways of doing it you can press the open on the top let's hope this works brilliant so far so good and close it oh that's pretty good now here is the test for the infrared Okay. Oh yes, so there's a countdown. So it went from on the top, it went from five. I'm gonna try and show you. In fact, I wonder if I take the lid off, it should still work. And if I bring it over to you, and then when I hover my hand over the top, I'll quickly flip it over so you can see the countdown. And then it closes by itself. I don't know if you saw that. I'm hoping I caught that on camera. But you hover your hand over the top. Now look, it's not working now. That's interesting. There's got to be a knack to this. Okay, so that worked. A swooping motion. Close. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it. Open sesame. That works. Okay. I reckon the infrared technology is in this bit where the display is. Let's test it. Yes, I was right. I knew it. It can't be on the lid, the actual lid, because there's nothing on the lid. It's just in this little display front panel. I reckon maybe even I could lift the lid with my finger. Hey, not just a pretty face.
I like what I see, so far so good. I know where the sensor is, I know where to aim, I can tell the rest of the family, you hover your hand over the front part and it'll just open, give it five seconds, the lid will close. That's great, so far so good. The only negative is I don't have any bins that fit. What I'm gonna do is rather than posting this review up straight away, I am gonna live with my new Morphe Richards bin uh, for a few days see how we get on and then I can give a more accurate description of what sort of bin it is, if it's any good, if it runs out of batteries really quickly, if it opens when you're not even needing it to open, etc, etc. So I will see you in a few days. Okay, so I have just opened it and it's staying open. It closes, that's good. Now it opens, now it's counting down. Well, I've had my Morphe Richards bin for less than a week and I am really disappointed. So two days after I got the bin, and it was working fine when you saw me, when I put the batteries in. Now those batteries that I put in were from, I don't know, some cheap shop, Poundland or Lidl or somewhere that, like that. So they're not gonna be great batteries, but literally two days after I put them in, the bin just didn't work. So I thought, okay, it must be the batteries. Just go out and get some Duracell batteries. I paid a fiver, so quite a lot of money for the six batteries that the bin takes, double A's, put them in, and literally within a day, it just wasn't working. It didn't work. Let me show you what I'm talking about. The temperamental bin. Sometimes it opens. Oh, hey presto. And sometimes it doesn't open. So the bin originally costs over 200 pounds. For something to be so temperamental, some days it works fine, others it just opens half or it doesn't even respond to the infrared signal or doesn't even you know, open when you're pressing the open button and then some days it works beautifully. So considering this bin was over 200 pounds, I'm really disappointed. I know I paid less than 89 pounds for it, but a bin, even at 89 pounds, you expect it to be top notch and to work 100% at the time, not to be temperamental. It's really been frustrating. Anyway, I'm returning it, sadly, um, because I haven't got a bin now, so it'll just have to be a bin bag in the corner, but it's going back to Groupon today. And I'm just gonna get the good old fashioned pedal bin um, because at least, you know, I know that I put my foot on it, it's gonna open, it's not gonna be temperamental. So. Yeah, I guess I had high hopes really for the bin. I mean, it looks nice and it fits in with my decor. It's just a shame, you know, the technology couldn't be right. A bin shouldn't be temperamental, it should work for that price. So, sorry Morphe Richards, but this time your bin is not up to scratch. Now, if you sold the same bin with a little pedal at the bottom, I'd buy. Because what I really like about the bin, 60 litres, you know, we're not changing it every couple of days, which is great. Um, you know, it's loads of space in there, which I really love. So I need a big bin because we're a family. But I just can't deal with this temperamental bin that sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. See, just pressed open and it didn't work. I need it to work 100% of the time. Ah, well, better luck next time. Guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my video, my review, please give me a thumbs up just down here. I hope my review was useful to you. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.